it's the world's the seven worlds gaming here today today ladies and gentlemen we are gonna be reacting to the new patch notes for the new stay mobile october update as always if you guys enjoyed this do me a favor smash that like button for me if you're new to the channel subscribe with notifications on and also feel free to check my other channel that i created recently link in the description below i've been posting a lot more there too just to see if youtube just stops killing me anyways without further ado Hello, here Savages. we go baby a new mode customization and more are featured in new state mobile's october patch notes. just a heads up we'll watch it first and then afterwards we'll come back break it down tell you what i like tell you what i don't like m24 c2 has been changed from the bipod to the tracking bullet once you hit a target the tracking bullet leaves a visible indicator for your allies to see even when they're behind cover oh when applied with c2 m24's magazine slot can no longer be used and its reload speed will also decrease That is cool. We have created the huh. auto fire feature for beginners who aren't yet accustomed to new state mobile's controls. Once enabled, your weapon will automatically fire shortly after locking on a target. For AR, DMR, LMG, SMG, SG, HG weapons, auto fire will activate for targets within 150 meters and 200 meters for SRs and crossbow. The auto fire feature can be toggled on and off in the control settings. We made some balance changes to mm. weapons. MP155 Ultima's bullet spread has increased and the damage of M110A1 has also slightly increased. By enabling display in lobby for a weapon through the inventory, you can now use that weapon in the starting island. Okay. We made some adjustments to exhibit halt and team deathmatch for balance purposes. Positions of the previously asymmetrical central booth and box have been changed. Also, the escalator has been disabled to allow for better vision after arriving at the second floor. There will now be boats that spawn along certain shores in Aquinta. The sunset weather, which was previously available only for Erangel Extreme, is now available in Erangel Original. That's cool. You can now enjoy Battle Royale games without the pressure of losing rank score. Simply toggle ranked mode off to disallow your match results from affecting your ranked score. You can check the ranked mode icon displayed in the lobby to see which allies have enabled ranked mode. Auto match will be disabled if a party member has ranked mode toggled off. To disable ranked mode, you must have at least 3000 points in the mode and server that you have selected. Yikes. Regardless of whether ranked mode was toggled on or off, all players will be matched into the same session based on the rank score of the highest tier member in your party. Certain rules have been changed for Bounty Royale. After you die, a portion of your prize money will transfer to your loot box and cannot be picked up by you or your allies. Kill prices for certain phases have been lowered. 150 for phase 2 is now lowered to 100. 400 for phase 4 down to 200, and 600 for phase 5 is lower to 300. Kill prices for phase 1 and 3 remain unchanged. The brand new recruit mode has been added to new state labs. This new mode for Akinta allows you to recruit much faster for a maximum of 8 players per squad. Once you complete a recruit on an enemy, your HP and boost will be recovered to 100%. We will continue to be introducing new content through new state labs, so stay tuned. What? Gain DXP for deathmatch combat level have been increased. EXP for kill, death, and knockout are all increased by 50%. EXP for wins have gone from 100 to 150 and losses from 30 to 75. You can now enable attachment skins for legendary weapons by using the new attachment tokens. Attachment tokens can be purchased and gifted from the NC store. Survivor Pass Volume 12 features Edward from the Hunter's Faction. Oh, that's cool. Complete story missions to obtain Edward's outfit and appearance. New State Mobile's newest collaboration features Dead by Daylight. Check out the new upgradable weapon, new set of outfits, along with the collab story missions to obtain exclusive oh. rewards. <laughs> For more details, please check out our written patch notes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in your new battlegrounds. Ah. Okay. <laughs> I. Okay, this is cool. Let, let's break it down. There's actually a lot of stuff to break down, and there's a lot of stuff in this update 
that I'm not looking forward to. And I'll tell you why in a bit. So stay tuned here with me. Now, first of all, the tracking bullet, that's actually pretty cool. I never really used the tripod, and I think they realized that people never really use the tripod customization. So this is pretty cool that they're doing this. Uh, let me just fast forward a little bit more. The auto fire thing, that's pretty cool, especially for like just new people, as they were saying, new people that don't know how to play the game. I think this is going to be awesome for them. I just hope it's not too OP. You aren't yet accustomed to new state mobile controls. If you see something, let me, let me. Once enabled, your weapon will automatically fire shortly after launch. Yeah, I just hope it's not like too easy. DMR, LMG, SMG, SG, Especially like on DMR stuff, like here. Bro. Like that's a. Uh, I just, I really hope that it's not too OP in certain areas, obviously. Now, for the other one, I think this is good. The stuff definitely that needs to be done. This, I mean, this didn't really matter. Um, if you play TDM, I think this is pretty big. It's good that they're continuing to do some changes there and whatnot. The boats in the Quinta, I actually think that's pretty cool. The sunset stuff, that's all right this the unranked is something i don't really agree with because it's just gonna spread out player base even more sometimes i have uh it takes a bit to find matches and that's in rank so now that they also people are gonna have a chance to play unranked i wonder if it's gonna spread out the player base more and to be completely honest i don't know how many people are actually playing new state at least in this region that i'm in I'm hoping, oh man, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not too happy. I'm not too uh, happy, I guess you could say, with the unranked option. Just because, as I said, it's just going to spread out the player base more. And I think we should start moving to an actual thing where more players, we have more players in games instead of just having more bots. And I know they mentioned something in Akinta coming up as well. Last time I tried to match up in the Akinta thing in like the. Let me see. Let me see. Let me try to find it real quick. No, it's not that one. Which one was it actually? I can't even remember on Bounty, Akinta Bounty on that one. Oh, it's actually even another map. It's something completely different. Uh, yeah see like it's cool that they're doing like new stuff but once again i just don't know how much player base there is new state mobile is not as as popular as pubg mobile so pubg mobile can kind of get away with having a lot of stuff to offer in their game and just separating the player base a little bit more. I don't know if New State Mobile is even there yet, but I mean, they might have the stats for it. But it's pretty cool. I mean, eight players. I, <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous having eight players in one squad can be alive at the time. It takes a maximum of 18 minutes to play in one session. 32 players join the battlegrounds and the last one to survive. Blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty cool. But going back to the bounty, like it took me a long time. And this is one of the reasons why I actually did stop playing the bounty because it was just taking forever to actually find games, which was just absolutely crazy to me. <laughs> this right here, like this is wild. <laughs> hey, so don't get me wrong, New State. I love that you guys are trying out new stuff. I just hope we're not splitting the player base too thin because I don't know how much player base there is in this game to kind of split that thin. But it's good that you guys are looking to test out new stuff. Hmm. Okay. And besides that, there's really not that much other stuff in the game besides this kind of small changes here and there. I'll have to go and look at some of the other stuff, like maybe some other changes to different weapons and whatnot. This collaboration actually seems like it's going to be pretty cool. But nonetheless, that's my take. I, I think maybe one of the weaker updates that we have had, and this is just me reacting based on what I just saw here. But you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe with notifications on. It's me, your boy, Stone World Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!